Merry Christmas, everyone. I got all of you a present. And that present is the promise of more meandering around town talking to random people. Happy days. Okay, so there's actually a mirror that we have to find. Apparently, this mirror is in our house somewhere. So maybe we should ask Ine-san if she knows anything about it. There she is right there. Um, Ine-san? Yes, what is it? Well, about that day, have you remembered anything? No, and I do not want to think about it. I get chills thinking about it even now. Oh. By the way, Fukuhara-san was looking for you. Huh? Fukusan is? Well, let's go and find Fukusan then. He's probably at the dojo or something. Let's head on out. Ine-san is always there for me. Now it's Christmas Day, and the Shenmi weather will always make it snow about this time of year, so it will always be a snowy white Christmas. Uh, uh. Fuxan! Huh? Um, Ryo-san, I... What is it, Fuxan? I'm sorry! I told Ine-san! What did you tell her? I told her what you're doing! I told her everything I know! You what? I... just couldn't help myself! And Ine-san needed to know! Fuksan. I'm really sorry! It's okay. Fuksan, do you know anything about the Phoenix Mirror? The Phoenix Mirror? My father may have had it. No, I've never heard him say anything about a mirror. Really? Hine-san might know something about it, though. Okay, let's go ask her. Ah, Hine-san. Fuku-san talks very loud, doesn't he? Huh? I just heard the two of you talking. We were talking? That wasn't that long ago. Yes, I'm sorry. It was rude of me to eavesdrop. Oh, it's okay. No, it wasn't. But then, who could tell the son of Iwao Hazuki to stay out of trouble? I hate to say it, but... I feel like I'm letting your father down. I... I'm sorry for making you worry so much. Ryo-san, I don't know if this will help or not. But there was one thing I recall. It wasn't that long ago when... Azuki-sensei went to an antique shop to have something stored for him. My father did what? I don't know what it was, but he said it was very important. Antique shop. So now we have a new lead. We need to head on over to the antique shop in town and see what our father was doing. Luckily we know exactly where it is because that's where we bought the move scrolls. But first let's do a little sparring so we can beat up Fukusan some more. That's it for today. Thanks Fukusan. I look forward to next time. And of course, on our way to town, we need to make our daily visit to Shen Miao. You and I have a lot in common. Our parents died on the same day. I'm like so depressed around Shen Miao. He's a kitten. Come on. Ryo. Oh, Nozomi. Oh. What were you talking about? Nothing. You always say nothing. You never tell me anything anymore. It's not like that. It's just... I understand. But you need to talk to me, okay? Okay. Take care of yourself. See ya. 
I think Nozomi is also a little concerned that Ryo Hazuki is more open to the cat than he is to her. Oh well. And despite that scene showing the cat walking away, she's she's still here. Well, let's feed Chen Miao some dried fish. Want some food? Now that I think about it, considering how many times he failed that stealth section, it's been a long time since we've actually since seen Shen Miao. Yeah. I hope the other kids have been taking care of her. Don't know about Megumi, she doesn't seem competent at all. Oh well. Are you cold? Ah, new petting animations. Are you cold? <laughs> That's so cute. Shen Miao, you look well. <laughs> I bet you remember me, don't you? Okay, now we're done with the cat, let's continue into town. Oh. No way! You're working with Landy? If I was... You... <sighs> Look, for the last time, I can't pay for that plate I dropped. Not with my allowance. I don't know if it's just this area in particular, but I seem to have this problem where the camera always seems to be either in front or behind of Ryo Hazuki, rather than the side. And it always confuses me, because then it just changes the input completely, I think. Basically, it's all relative to where you're facing, of course, so it's supposed to be basically forward and back. But, like, if Ryo Hazuki is facing towards the camera, then I guess it's, like, down for forward or something? I don't know, I never really quite got used to that, because, I don't know, it never seemed to be a problem in any area except maybe this one, because of how narrow it is, and the camera tries to adjust itself. Also, I'm parrying a lot more, but he's also parrying me, so my ass is being beaten pretty hard right now. If I continue, then I'll fail as your bodyguard. A bodyguard? Father told me to guard you. What? So what you're saying is you started beating me up for no reason. Calm down. If you don't live, it'll be a problem for us. What you mean? You still don't realize your role, do you? If Lan Di gets that mirror, no one can stop him. Hurry and find that mirror. Before they suspect anything. <laughs> Landy Sama, the Phoenix Mirror? <laughs> <laughs> well, clearly the fact that this guy was laughing maniacally to himself out aloud in broad daylight hiding in the roof wearing a bright purple top with poor dental hygiene means he was some kind of master of stealth, since apparently no one heard that. Oh well, let's pretend that never happened and continue onwards. Hey, go in. Hello, y'all. Do you, son? You again. You always seem in good health. Yes. You take care that you don't catch cold. Health is the most important thing. You can't buy it with money. But you know what I can buy with money? Cat food, which makes the cat healthy. See, I can buy health. And of course it's Christmas. So there's Christmas decorations and Christmas jingles all over Dubuita. Nice little touch, actually. But yeah, pretty much, aside from the decorations and the music, life continues as normal in Dabuita. No one takes holidays or anything like that. Kurita-san. Yo, how are ya? What's going on? I'm on my way to the antique shop. Over near the convenience store. They sell nice goods, but too expensive. I see. I saw a nice vase there a while back. Thought I'd buy it for Yuriko, but it was too expensive for me. That's too bad. 
Well, maybe Kurita-san will get Yuriko a nice present for Christmas. Also, Tom's Hot Dogs isn't here because it hangs out at the harbour during the daytime now. But if you still look the, use the look feature, uh, he still reads the sign of it, as if it's still there, so... Yeah, I guess that's just something they forgot to take out. Alright, so aside from the music and the Christmas decorations, there's also Santa wandering around town. Excuse me? Merry Christmas! Ho, ho, ho! Yes? What is it? Do you know where the antique shop is? If you mean Bunkado Antique Shop, it's across from Hokuhoku Lunches. Thanks. Well, that's Santa. He just wanders around town around Christmassy time. Ryo! Nozomi. Making any progress? Yeah. I found something my father left for me. Your father? Yeah. See you later. Yeah. Nozomi. Ryo, let me know if you need any help. Sure. Now all this Christmas stuff that's around, it doesn't have to be Christmas Day exactly. Like the few days leading up to Christmas, this stuff is up, so, you know, it's not like it had to be exactly Christmas Day. So, you know, a couple of days beforehand, you'll get to see some of this stuff. Of course, if this was real life, then some of this stuff would start coming up, you know, in November, because, like, we start celebrating Christmas way too early nowadays. Excuse me? Oh. That clock doesn't even have the right time on it. That's a delightful sound, don't you agree? It was made especially for that butterfly woman. You know Madam Butterfly, don't you? Um, I, I know Mothra. Is, is that the same thing? You... Your Hazuki Sensei's... Oh my, that was a terrible thing. Your father... Ah, I was holding something at Sensei's request. Hmm, just where did I put it, huh? Oh yes, it was very important. So I put it here. Hidden safely within the confines of my underwear. He'd asked me to polish and look after it for him. For my father? It's given to the Hazuki heirs once they turn 18. I gather this antique has been passed down from generation to generation. Father. If there's anything I can do for you, please let me know. Hazuki Sensei was always there for me when I needed him. Was there anything else that he asked you to hold for him? Anything else? Like a mirror, called the Phoenix Mirror. A Phoenix Mirror? Hmm... Sorry, I don't know of any mirror. Well, that's okay. Thank you very much. But yeah, uh, Christmas in Shenmue isn't really anything to write home about, it's just a bunch of cosmetic stuff. No special events or anything, it's just that guy. Uh, you can easily complete the game before the Christmas period, if you're playing through the game normally, and don't mess up the flashlight sequence like 500 times. But yeah, uh, turns out Hazuki's father left a sword handguard with the antique shop for some reason. And I guess now we're trying to find the significance of it, so we can talk to more people about it. Eddie. What? Dio? I'm looking for someone who knows about antiques. Do you know anyone? Of course not! I'm not interested in antiques, 
or people who are into antiques. Okay. Hey. Stop pestering me. I'm busy right now. Don't talk to me. Sorry. Another really awkward conversation with a woman. Oh well. Worked up quite a thirst there. Let's have a drink. Let's go with coffee again. Again, it's quite cold, so... Gonna have to warm ourselves up. Nothing says Christmas like coffee, right? about you guys that totally made my Christmas and hey look look who it is it's those two schoolgirls um got a minute huh get out of my space schoolboy excuse me huh who the hell you think you are just a what I'll slap you silly you pansy um what's with you Shut up! I know you're gonna step down! Clearly they completely forgot about the beatdown that Ryo gave them earlier. Hello, Yamagashi-san. Oh, it's you now. Have you been doing alright? I'm fine. I mean, a while ago I beat up two schoolgirls, so yeah, I'm totally fine. Let's do some more training. After some of this, we can head straight home. Fuxan. Fuxan, why are you trying to brush yes? the snow? This was at the antique shop for me. Let's see. It's a sword handguard. Yeah. It was my father's. It's a part of my inheritance. I see. Have you seen this before? Like this design? It might be a family crest. Have you asked Inesan? No, not yet. Well, you should ask her. You're right. I think she's in the altar room. Thanks. This was at the antique shop. A sword handguard. Inesan, do you know anything about this? The snow ring, the two stars, and a sword. That's the Hazuki family crest. And that mirror you're looking for, I wonder if there's a connection. Maybe your father left us a clue. Snow ring, two stars, one sword. Thanks. Okay, so now we need to do a little investigating. First place is to look in our father's room. In here, in the drawer, we found it earlier, where there's a key. Huh. What's this key for? A key? But to what? Let's find out together, Ryo Hazuki. Let's find out the purpose of this key. This may come in handy. And just to appease those in the first part of my video, I'm going to look at all the other drawers and stuff available in his room. But I'm going to fast forward it because there's nothing else here. Let's see, nothing behind there. Look at some vases. Or is it a vase? I don't know. Blech. Yeah, 
And that just about covers everything in your father's room. He was kind of a boring man, I guess. Okay, so... The next step is to investigate the dojo. You haven't really taken a good look around here yet. Um, there's this box over here, and it has a keyhole. And we have a key. So, I guess we can put the two and two together. Yeah, it opened. This sword, it has... Now let's very carefully close the lid again. Can't just leave this box open. Nope, that would be stupid. Well, it's a sword and it doesn't have a handguard, so this seems like the most obvious puzzle in the world. Is this handguard for this sword? No. Looks like there's more to this puzzle than meets the eye. But first let's very slowly put the sword back in its sheath. A lot of these animations seem like way too long. So what are we doing? But why is a sword with no handguard in this box? Ryo Hazuki pondered this question deep into the night. Anyway. Back to trying to figure out what the deal with this sword is. Um, well, you can't really do anything with the box. You can't even put it down. You're just kind of stuck with holding it. So, I've got to figure out something to do with the sword. And uh, if you remember, a while ago, um, we had a look at those scrolls. So let's take a look at them again. And these two scrolls here. And you can interact with them. Why is that here? What's this slot for? Well, might as well jam the sword in there. Seems like the most logical thing to do. Okay. Okay, well that's that one done. Let's check out the other scroll. That shape. Why is that here? Well, that's the Hazuki family crest. And, uh... Well, let's just put two and two together, shall we? Okay. Oh. Wow, so it was a switch. Wow, I am totally surprised by this. Well, we found a secret. Let's head on down. Mysterious. Worth investigating. I need light to go in. Maybe not. Let's go back. On the way out, you can check out this sign. And, uh... You can't really do anything with it at the moment because... I can't reach it. It's too high up. We can fix this problem, though, because there's a stool right next to it.
What's this? What's this doing here? It's in Chinese. Well, unfortunately, Ryo Hazuki cannot read Chinese, so we're just gonna have to leave it for now. But yeah, basically our problem is that we can't go in because we don't have light. And basically you need to find a torch. You can ask the other residents of the house, you can ask Fukusan or Ine-san where the torch is, but I know where it is, it's right here! Underneath the phone. Found it! Okay, let's go back to the basement. Yeah, I don't really feel like going back to the basement. Not tonight, anyway. Let's wait for tomorrow, it's kinda late. First, let's call some of our friends. It's Christmas and we haven't seen them, so let's give Nozomi a call. Once I remember her number and slowly input each individual number into the rotary dial. Nozomi. Ryo? Hey Ryo! Ever been to the Lapis Fortune Teller? Their readings are accurate. Have you ever been there? Yes. With Eri and Noriko. Oh. You should give it a try. Yeah. Oh, you wanted to talk? Um, no reason. Later. Okay, bye. I called Naoyuki after this as well, but he just had the same conversation about what, having to watch his TV show, so nothing new to show there. I mean, if you remember what the Lapis Fortune Teller told us, you know, the land that smelled of the sea, I guess it accurately predicted we were going to the harbour. But on the other hand, its gamble reading was way oh off. Good Lucky thing. number two, my ass. That slot machine did jack. Shouldn't me out. You okay? <laughs> You're so cute. Aww. Alright, let's feed her. Merry Christmas, Shen Meow. You hungry? Here. Also, for some reason, Shenmia has two shadows at night time. You don't have to gulp it down. Okay, well, that's the cat fed, that's my friends called, and tomorrow I can start looking for the Phoenix Mirror. But for now, time for bed. Good night, everyone. See you guys tomorrow.